Hello everyone and welcome back to World Renowned Turbo Tractor and thanks for joining me today for another Disney Cars Diecast review and today we are going to be taking a look at Darren Leadfoot, the original Cars 1 veteran stock car racer for Shiny Wax who raced in the Piston Cup. So let's get started. Darren Ledford being one of the 36 original Piston Cup racers from Cars has been released quite a number of times, but I picked him up this year in 2021 at Target. He was released this year along with some of his other fellow Piston Cup racers like Rusty Corn Fuel, Iken Axler, and Manny Flywheel. Taking a look here, we can see that Darren Leadfoot has a base color of lime green as well as some yellow circle designs that go all over his body that represent the brand Shiny Wax. And we can see the Shiny Wax logo on his hood and it is also on the side here toward the back. And you can also see it once again on the very back right here on the side again and even on the back right in front of the spoiler. I think his color scheme is very unique and interesting, so I definitely do love it. And he does have a very shiny design to match his sponsor, Shiny Wax. His expression is very determined looking as a hard working, hard racing piston cup racer ought to be. You can see he has brown eyes, they painted his teeth down there, and there is his grill, which could also perhaps be a mustache. And as we know from McQueen, these are not real headlights, they are just stickers meant to look like real headlights, and one of them has a small number 82 right there, because that is his number. Once again, you can see the number 82 is actually kind of crooked, but it looks interesting like that up on the top here. He has 82 on the side, 82 on this side as well. We can see that he has the standard Lightyear tires that all of the Piston Cup racers do. That's say Lightyear right there. His rims are painted black. And on the side here, we can see a bunch of other sponsor stickers such as Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Mood Springs, Octane Gain, Revolting, No Stall, Vitaling, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid, like a lot of the racers do. And yay, I got all of them. Plus, we can also see some exhaust pipes on the side right there, which are also continued to the other side. And you can continue to see the exhaust pipes and some of the more mechanics of the vehicle underneath here, which looks very, very neat. And overall, a very solid die cast design. He's definitely a very vibrant colored razor. You can also see his spoiler attached on the back here, which has the same kind of green as the rest of him. There is a stripe section that comes along here that's actually a darker green, which is very interesting. And we can also see his tail lights, which are presumably just stickers and not real tail lights. One of them has a number 82 there, and he has a black bumper. And he does look very cool. I think it was very cool that they chose to release him along with some of his other fellow Piston Cup racers, as I like seeing lots of them as they are classic characters, and they deserve to get lots of releases in the diecast line, as they look very good. And as you know, I am a huge fan of all the Piston Cup racers, especially from Cars 1. Now to compare him with the Cars 3 version of Darren Leadfoot, on the right over here, we can see quite a few differences. It still looks very much like the traditional shiny wax design, however it's updated. As you can see on the hood there, that's the difference. They still both have the kind of green color scheme going on, except they kind of lost most of the yellow and replaced that with more of a lime green. You can see his eyes are still brown. He's presumably the same person or character, I should say, except that you can see the mold is totally different. They totally changed that. The Lightyear tires appear to be pretty much the same, except they're bigger on the Cars 1. Darren Leadfoot, he is still number 82, so they did not change that there. The main thing that they changed is the Shiny Wax logo and kind of pattern that they carried all over his body, which you can kind of see as I rotate it around here. 
my opinion, I actually would say that I like the shiny wax design for the Cars 3 Darren Litha better. I just think it looks um, way cooler. But the regular shiny wax uh, design for Darren Ledfoot from Cars 1 still looks very nice and I do think he is a very solid die cast especially since he is one of the originals also let's compare Darren Ledfoot to Conrad Camber the Cars 3 next gen shiny wax racer who ended up replacing him and you can see they are very very different the only thing that's even remotely the same about them is that they both retain the color green and the number 82 and of course that they're still shiny wax but they are different in many many regards they both have a determined expression brown eyes as well for that matter except this guy is of course a next gen now he has a kind of gold sparkle design going on and the back section of him is covered in a dark gray none of that is present on the regular Darren Leadfoot and so they are very very different indeed so in this case I would have to say that I prefer the shiny wax design for Cars 1 Darren Leadfoot over Conrad Camber since he is more classic but Conrad Camber has a very refreshing shiny wax design that I also do think is pretty cool. And so overall, I would say I'd have to rate this Darren Ledford diecast a 7 out of 10 since he is a pretty good, decent diecast. 10 would be if he was one of my favorites, but he is not one of my favorite original Piston Cup racers. There are some that I like a lot better but he still is very nice and I like him quite a bit. So if you guys are looking to find him, I hope you can find him in stores as he was released this year. And otherwise that wraps up the review guys. So please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment. I want to hear what you guys think about Darren Ledfoot, the Piston Cup Racer. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. So stay safe, take it easy and over and out until then.